Hi everyone, we will see the memory profiler in Android Studio, how it works, how memory can be analyzed with the memory profiler features. So let us uh, start with one application. This application, what it does is, it has uh, uh, features like we can add one log also or 100 logs also we can add so we can see the memory alloc allocation during one log uh, addition or 100 logs addition or how to deallocate the memory so those kind of things we are going to see and some source code also will go through. So let us start the profiler. If we go to the profiler and if we launch, so for example here if we go to the session and if we see there is no debuggable that means so we have to check the uh, ADB devices whether the device is connected or not so ADB devices ok then we have to disable and enable the USB debugging so go to the settings then go to the USB debugging and then developer option and then USB debugging you disable and enable one time now now we will see we will try to launch the application memory profiling so go to run and profile app we will see whether it's launching or not Gradle build running so the GME device is selected here and one more thing we would check is in the app edit configuration we would see under profiling whether enable advanced profiling is added and then start recording also there so apply and ok let the gradle build running so let it start now so then the app will be launched in the app we have to see how we can uh, do the memory profile suppose if the app is launched then how to do one log uh, how to activate or hundred logs how to activate then how the memory is allocated and the deallocation how it happens so all those things will now it's trying to install let us wait for the installation so now it is installed so now it is launched also the now you see the memory profile the we can see the memory is profiled here so then uh, recording is running so let us stop the recording I think recording is not ok so let us go to the edit configuration then profiling under profiling start recording is there just we will stop now now this window should go now so already some recording happened so we can record any point of time so let us uh, stop this now recording then we will profile the other activities like so it is moving now so we will stop here so not ok then uh, now if we want uh, the profiling now let us continue with the profiling 
So you double click the memory now, you see the memory how it is uh, profile. Now there is one activity, main activity. Suppose if I want to see two activities, for example in this case, if you go to the project, so there is one main activity. So the main activity has this uh, screen, this one, whatever we are seeing in the phone. So then there is another uh, detail activity also there. That also we are, we will see now. Then main application is the one common uh, for its so having the repository and uh, data format, date format. Then uh, there is something called adapter also. So this adapter has recycler view. The advantage of recycle view is so suppose if you want to run 100 log, it will not create 100 uh, constraint layout. So it will create only one constraint layout. And bitmap also. So here uh, many bitmaps uh, resources will not be created. Only one bitmap will be reused here. So that is the two advantage of this adapter. So now let us uh, see the profiling. We will go to the profile and we see here this memory is here the suppose if you move to the other uh, activity so now I open the second activity here you see the changes here so now if I want to see the profiling here so you can see here the profiling happened here so in this duration of time duration so suppose if you want to see the different uh, uh, profiling for example I want to check the uh, the filter I want to set some filter and then uh, I want to check uh, so what kind of filter we can put just we'll see the filter just I'll maximize so there is a filter icon just we'll enable this now we'll so here trip log is the trip log is one filter so trip log you can see the main activity main application all are we will put the match case also so do you see here trip log adapter the allocation and all that now what we'll do so this is the window we moved now so you can see the detail activity let us again continue the real time capture now what i'll do i'll just type hi here hi then i will enter here now you see the difference here the now the change is happened here the, in this duration we'll drag and see what kind of allocation and deallocation happened so again you see the uh, so we'll see so all are the then trip plot so here you can see the trip log how it is allocation happened and deallocation also happened so here you can see then heap memory also we can check for example i will check the heap memory this is the one so dump uh, heap memory so now we will see in uh, deep let it fetch now the heap memory how the heap heap dump happened here so we'll see the heap dump now so now trip log i have put the filter you can see how much trip log adapter you can see one allocation how many allocations happened to one trip log adapter then a trip log view holder one then trip log two allocations happen adapter one again creator one so now what we'll do we'll see how many constraint layout are there we'll set one more uh, constraint layout see here only one constraint layout is there so so this is to understand this how it is working then uh, if you want to check some other uh, filter also we can check so 
So now let us uh, do one thing. So now one log, this will delete this. Uh, this one log will delete now. So now let us continue the capture. Let it capture now. So now what I am going to do is add 100 logs. Just add now 100 logs are added. Now you see the differences here. And then we will try to dump the heap again. Heap dump one more time will do. So now you see the we will start with the trip log again. So now fetching the result. So let it fetch the result now. We will see now. So your constraint layout you see now 6 allocations happen and we will uh, trip log we will see trip log with the trip log filter you can see 102 are there. See now 100 it increased the allocations increase now when I uh, when I loaded 100 logs. So that is the one observation we can have. So then I think this is uh, the good uh, one we have seen. The one is the allocation how it happened for 100. Then if we want to deallocate, suppose now what we will do, just we will delete all. Now we will run again one more round to the real time. So now let us uh, heap dump and, uh, and we will check. So here you see deallocation 9 happened so that is one observation then what we will do we will just heap dump will do now we will see how the deep, deep uh, heap dump what is the deallocations and how it happened always we will see switching the results so again you see here the now allocations are again reduced to 2 earlier 1 or 2 was there now it's only 2 now constraint layout how many constraint layouts are there so now you can see the constraint layout only 1 is there now earlier 6 was there now it's 1 I think this is clear now the memory profiler the different features like how allocation tracking happens and how Keep dump happens, how the allocation happens, deallocation happens. So using this application we understood. Thank you very much.